The Circle Kids, it's trivia time with Lee. Hungry stories and questions of captivating spree. Biblical mysteries, the world to unfold in the realm of God's word. Let the tales be told. It's Bible trivia, a divine expedition. Each answer a triumph, a brilliant mission. With Comrie leading and stars burning bright, let's dive into this adventure basking in God's light. Hey there, God's curious little learners. Welcome to another episode of Kids Bible Trivia with Camry. Today we are going to learn about the plagues of Egypt, which were ten disasters that God sent to the land of Egypt to convince Pharaoh to let the Israelites go free. Do you know what they were? Are you ready to test your knowledge and have some fun? Let's get started. Question one. What was the first plague that God sent to Egypt? Frogs, flies, blood, or darkness? is blood. God turned the water of the Nile River and all the other sources of water in Egypt into blood. The fish died and the water smelled bad. A question two. What was the second plague that God sent to Egypt? Lice, boils, hail, or frogs? The answer is frogs. God made frogs come out of the water and cover the land. They were everywhere, in the houses, in the beds, even in Pharaoh's palace. The question three, what was the third plague that God sent to Egypt? Gnats, locusts, death of the firstborn or livestock disease. These are gnats. God made dust turn into gnats, which are tiny biting insects. They swarmed over people and animals and made them miserable. For question four, what was the fourth plague that God sent to Egypt? Flies, darkness, hail, or boils. If the answer is flies, God sent swarms of flies to bother the Egyptians. The flies were very annoying and dirty. They also carried diseases. For question five, what was the fifth plague that God sent to Egypt? Locusts, livestock disease, death of the firstborn or life. The answer is livestock disease. God killed all the animals that belonged to the Egyptians, such as cows, horses, sheep, and camels. But he spared the animals that belonged to the Israelites. Tech question six. What was the sixth plague that God sent to Egypt? Boils, frogs, blood, or darkness? is boils. God made boils break out on the skin of people and animals. Boils are painful sores that are filled with pus. In question seven, what was the seventh plague that God sent to Egypt? Hail, flies, gnats, or locusts? His answer is hail. God sent a terrible hailstorm that destroyed crops and trees. The hailstones were mixed with fire and thunder. Question 8. What was the 8th plague that God sent to Egypt? Locusts, death of the firstborn, life or livestock disease. The answer is locusts. God sent a huge swarm of locusts that ate up all the plants that were left after the hailstorm. The locusts covered the sky and made it dark. Question 9. What was the ninth plague that God sent to Egypt? Darkness, blood, frogs, or boils. The answer is darkness. God made darkness cover the land of Egypt for three days. The darkness was so thick that people could not see anything or anyone. The question 10, what was the 10th and final plague that God sent to Egypt? Death of the firstborn, hail, flies, or gnats. The answer is death of the firstborn. God killed every firstborn son in Egypt, from Pharaoh's son to the son of a slave. But he passed over the houses of the Israelites who had put lamb's blood on their doorposts. At question 11, what did God tell Moses and Aaron to do before he sent the 10th plague? To pack their bags and get ready to leave Egypt. To warn Pharaoh one last time and ask him to let them go. To instruct the Israelites to celebrate the Passover feast. 
or it ran fast for three days. The easier answer is to instruct the Israelites to celebrate the Passover feast. God told them to kill a lamb and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They also had to put some of the lamb's blood on their doorposts as a sign of their faith in God. It's Hashem 12. What did Pharaoh do after his son died in the tenth plague? He begged Moses and Aaron to forgive him and let him join them. He hardened his heart and refused to let them go. He finally let them go but changed his mind and chased them. Or he died of grief and his brother took over as the new Pharaoh. The answer is he finally let them go, but changed his mind and chased them. Pharaoh was so angry and sad that he let the Israelites go, but then he regretted his decision and sent his army after them. Question 13. What did God do to help the Israelites escape from Pharaoh's army? He made a pillar of cloud and fire to guide them and protect them. He parted the Red Sea and made a dry path for them to cross. He sent angels to fight for them and destroy their enemies. Or he did all of the above. This year is he did all of the above. God was with the Israelites and showed them his power and love. He made a pillar of cloud and fire to lead them by day and night. He parted the Red Sea and made a way for them to cross on dry ground. He also sent his angel to block the Egyptians from following them. And when they tried to cross the sea, he made the waters come back and drown them. Question 14. What did the Israelites do after they crossed the Red Sea and saw God's mighty deliverance? They complained and grumbled about their situation. They sang and danced and praised God for his wonders. They forgot about God and worshipped a golden calf. Or they asked Moses to take them back to Egypt. The answer is they sang and danced and praised God for his wonders. The Israelites were so happy and grateful that they sang a song of praise to God, led by Moses and his sister Miriam. They also played tambourines and danced with joy. Question 15, what can we learn from the story of the plagues of Egypt? That God is powerful and can do anything he wants. That God is faithful and keeps his promises to his people. That God is merciful and gives people chances to repent are all of the above. The answer is all of the above. The story of the plagues of Egypt teaches us many things about God's character and actions. He is powerful and can control nature and history. He is faithful and keeps his covenant with Abraham Isaac. He is merciful and gives Pharaoh many opportunities to change his mind and obey him. That's it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Kids Bible Trivia with Camry. How many questions did you get right? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun videos. See you next time.